Hi, I'm Steve Good, and welcome to the Scroll Saw Workshop. Uh, please visit my Scroll Saw blog at www.scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com. Many of the videos that I make uh, about scroll sawing or uh, using Corel Draw to create scroll saw patterns come from questions that I receive uh, through email off of my blog. And tonight, uh, tonight's video is exactly that. Uh, a couple nights ago, I posted a video uh, demonstrating how I use clip art that I've created uh, to put together uh, scroll saw patterns and to make that process a little quicker and easier. And I went through the process of building a real simple pattern using uh, some of this clip art that you see on the screen here. And I talked about uh, this royalty free. Uh, clip art book that I sometimes use to get shapes out of and uh, explained that what I would do is go in and trace these images in Corel Draw and then use these pieces of clip art to help build the pattern. Uh, well I had an email from Diane and she was really excited. She had just uh, purchased her uh, Corel Draw and she was anxious to get started building some of her own patterns and she liked the idea of using the clip art uh, to make it easier. But uh, one thing that I didn't explain in that video is how to trace this clip art. So I went back through uh, some of my past videos, and one of the first videos I did for the site um, talked about creating uh, clip art with, with Corel Draw. And I was just going to post that uh, link to that video to her. And I wouldn't watch the video because it had been several months since I uh, had made that particular uh, video. And I didn't like it. Um, I didn't do a very good job of explaining it. I didn't show all the features that uh, you probably are going to want to use to create this clip art. So I thought I would revisit that subject and uh, go ahead and trace uh, one of these small clip art uh, <clears throat> files here and show you how I do that. So that's what this video is going to be about. So what I'm going to do is this page right here again is a scanned in uh, page out of a clip art book. And I'm going to zoom in on one of these small pieces and go ahead and show you how I trace it. So I'm going to select my uh, magnifying glass. And I think I'll choose this one right here because it gives me uh, uh, the ability to show you a couple different techniques. So I'm going to scan this uh, small image here. And again, this could be a photograph. It could be, as in this case, clip art. Uh, files that you get off the web, files you get out of books, or pictures you get out of books. So just about anything you can get into CorelDRAW, you can trace it. I trace all of my uh, patterns uh, using the pen tool. So what you're going to want to do is go up to uh, the uh, flyout up here with all the uh, different uh, drawing tools on it. And what we're going to do is select the pen tool, which is the, the fourth one out in this flyout right here. And with the pen tool selected, what I do is make a very rough outline. I'll find a good starting point so I can find my position again. And I'll go ahead and click. And then I'll just take this line and move it to the next segment where I want to be. And I just continue this process very roughly going around uh, this pattern. And you can see I'm not following the contour uh, practically at all, uh, especially on curves. I'm just moving right on around the pattern. And all I'm going to do is just go out and quickly outline this complete image right here. And I'll go a little quicker in this video than maybe I might if I was really taking my time uh, to get a, you know, a, a perfect image. But basically, you don't have to be very precise here. You can move on around this pattern uh, fairly quickly because you're going to go back and reshape these lines uh, at the end anyway. And uh, I've got the snap to objects turned on, and it caused a couple little flaky things to happen there. So I'm going to turn that off, but that's all that's about. Okay, once you get this rough sketch done, uh, the next thing you need to do is go up here to your tool menu, and you're going to select the shape tool, uh, or the shortcut for that is the F10 key. But uh, once we get the shape tool selected, it'll bring up uh, all your different uh, menu bars up here to... Uh, make some changes with your shape tool. And one of the uh, icons in the menu bar is this select all nodes. Now what I'm going to do is select all these nodes by clicking that button and that will highlight all the nodes and then there's another icon up here that says convert line to curve. 
And what this is going to do is take all the lines in this pattern and convert them to curved lines that we can reshape. So I'm going to click on that. And now as I come down and move my mouse pointer around these lines, you'll see that the little square uh, right underneath the mouse pointer turns to a curve. And what I can do at this point is take these curves, these line segments, and I can move them and shape them around this pattern the way I want them. And uh, that's all I'm going to do is, to, is go ahead and move all these lines around the outside of this small image until I get them as accurate as I need them to be. So you, you want to definitely go to all the curve sections and what we'll do at the end of this video is we'll go back and uh, fill in this uh, particular pattern with a, a solid color and that will allow us to see how we've done on the curve. So right now I've got it traced pretty well I'll go over here and just select a red color and we can see okay I've missed here a little bit so what I want to do is reach in and grab that and pull it out a little bit and basically you're going to take your time and get these shapes right now I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, make this transparent again and you notice one thing that we haven't done is we don't have this cut out here in the middle so again I'm going to go to my pen tool or in this case I could just use a circle tool so, but I think I'll use the pen just to you know, show you how to do it and all I'm going to do is go around the inside of the circle and create a little square. Again, I'll go back to my shape tool. I will click on the select all nodes. I will click on convert line to curve. And now I'll zoom in on this a little bit to get a better look at it. And with my shape tool selected again, I can move this out to get it to fit this particular shape. And you can see this one node right here maybe is a little bit too far over to the left so I can move these all around and as these nodes are selected you'll see I have these handles that I can pull in and out to reshape these outlines so you're going to want to do that now once I get this uh, drawn uh, the circle inside here we need to cut it out of the shape so what I can do is go up to my select tool and with that interior shape I'm going to hold down the sh shift key and click on the, the other shape and that'll select both of them and that'll bring up this icon up here the uh, back minus front and when I click on that you didn't see anything happen but what it did is it cut this small circle out of the rest of this pattern so now when I go and fill it in with a color you can see you know that I have a pattern that's traced now again I went pretty slow on this or pretty quick on this pattern so I don't have the shape exactly like I would want it if I was actually going to use it but you can go in here and refine this shape until you get it exactly as you want it to be takes a little uh, finesse and a little work, uh, but you can come out with some pretty nice pieces of clip art by creating your pieces like this. So now once I have it traced, uh, this image is now vectorized so I can uh, reshape it to any size I want. So obviously I can come over here and make it uh, just as big as I want it to be and I can add it to my collection of clip art. So that's the way all these other pieces were created. Again, I do this with uh, clip art. I do it with uh, photographs you know anything I need an image of and then what I'll do is I'll just save this document uh, uh, sometimes I'll leave the uh, clip art on the screen and sometimes I'll get rid of it but I save all these pieces uh, onto the hard drive and then when I need them I can just go pick them out and place them in my pattern so Diane I hope that was helpful to you uh, basically it's just a process of using the pen tool to, to trace it and the shape tool to refine the shape uh, remembering to set all the lines to curve so you can shape them just like you like them. Okay, thanks for watching this video and please visit my blog at www.scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com. We'll see you in the next video.